Hello guys, for my 700 subscriber special, I decided to do a Joshua's DVD reviews episode on Ninja Turtles 1987 Complete Series. <sighs> Anyways, uh, yeah. So, two things we like to start. One, the very first subscriber special, which is one of the hardest subscribers, was a TMT video, which is a review on season two. So yeah, that's something. And two, the series was recently, well, this series, was recently bought by Viacom, and they plan to put it on the streaming service and air it on Pluto TV and things. I have, don't, have no idea why they didn't bother to buy it before, especially since that they had all those crossovers and things happening with the 2012 series and a Nick All-Star Brawl, and Lionsgate hasn't done anything with them since they released the Cash and Cow Bucket Classics in 2014, which only exists to promote the 2014 movie. Well, I guess not really, considering the fact how it's owned by a different company, but I guess not to promote it, just to cash in and be lazy. And I didn't find this out until after I already planned to make the 7 subscriber special, 700 subscriber special. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, this is the very first Ninja Turtles thing ever made, ever, after the comics and things. And it had to be a letter tone to appear to the Saturday morning kids, and also had to have toys and things come out all over and things so they introduced a bunch of random new characters to make toys out of and season one was great and it had great animation well sometimes it looked ugly and the characters that change colors mid scene there's a bunch of animation errors and things but still it looked good some of the best animation series I have to offer season two wasn't as good as season one but still pretty good with some classic episodes and also i watched it a billion times on dvd so uh yeah then season 3 kind of goes downhill with some episodes being good, some of them being decent, but some of them being really shitty with bad writing and also shitty animation to go along with it. And then season 4, most of the animation on that season is really shitty, and I haven't watched much of the series past that. So, uh, yeah, I can't really judge the rest of the series, but all I know is that season 4 is the worst season out of all of them. Even though it's more consistent in the quality, I'd rather there be some random little sprinklings of good in between the shittiness like with season 3. Rather it just be all be shitty. I think that mixing up the quality or having good little decent little sprinkles in between the shittiness really keeps you in your toes for which episodes are gonna actually be good. So uh, uh yeah. Anyway, series good. But the very first video on one of my other channels was about complaining about the awful packaging. And the packaging is super horrendous and it's so incredulous like My fingers hurt. Packaging is so shitty. It has a disc double stacked like on here and then flipped over. Then they have like this huge stupid dumb space. And also on season 4 it says look for these other episodes because for no reason they were just not even available. Also Planet of the Turloid is in season 5 so I don't know why it says it in the season 4 spot. Anyway talking about that I'm gonna go over the little history of the DVDs and things. So yeah. So season 1 and 2 were released in 2004 and 2005 respectively, but were called volume 1 and volume 2 for no actual reason. And also with season 1, they had four random bonus episodes from season 10. I have no idea why they were included there, so yeah, no point. And if a dumb little stupid kid is watching it with no context, they have no idea why everything looks different and it feels different it doesn't have silly stupid jokes for kids. Also, one interesting thing about season one is that it actually has a completely different credits for every episode. Well, completely different from the rest of the series. Anyway, the seasons two through like the first half of four use the same exact like credits, picture and style and things, and they basically just reuse the same credits for every episode in each season because they were too lazy to change it and they didn't credit any animation studios like other shows from at the time. Well, I guess unlike other shows at the time, but the point is, is that season one has its own unique credits, except for on season the last episode, where for no reason it just really plasters the credits from season three. I know that because it says 1989 at the end, even though the episodes were made two years earlier. I have no idea why that is. And I guess the people who produced the DVD just were too lazy and they didn't care. I love when companies and things are lazy and they don't care about anything. Anyway, after. Season 2 was released in one disc with 13 episodes crammed onto it for some reason. Season 3 was spread out over 4 discs, 12 with each episode, uh, each volume with 12 episodes. But then you're thinking, wait a minute, 47 episodes? How does that work? Well, the last one will obviously have 11, right? Well, wrong. It has the first episode of season 4 for some reason. 
Plan 6 in Rider Space, specifically. I don't know why it's called Plan 6 in Rider Space. That doesn't have anything to do with anything. And the animation is super shitty, but also, it's not even actually the first episode that was aired. The first episode that was actually aired was Son of Return of the Fly 2, which is an amazing title, by the way. Which was first aired, but some of the syndication episodes were aired earlier. They had a new theme song and no title card and different credits and things. So yeah, super confusing, but season 4 actually includes it in the correct, which I'm assuming is the production order. Speaking about that, the episode order is super confusing, continuity errors and mistakes and it being all doubled up and horrifying. But thankfully there's a playlist on YouTube that has it in the correct order, which is got from a TMNT entity website thing, so yeah. And anyway, season 4 is released in an amazing 5 disc, five, five, five disc set. This, uh, this collection doesn't have Once Upon a Time Machine for some reason. And also at the very end of the collection it has photos in the hair which I guess was aired at the beginning of season 5. It was believed to be because a list of Wikipedia back then had a bunch of wrong episodes and air dates and lists and things. So uh, yeah, I guess no one will truly know but it was literally produced like half of the season. It has the old pre-syndication theme song and everything. And title cards in the same credits, so I have no idea why that's placed at the end. Oh, I once upon a time machine just wasn't included. It's included season 10 as a bunch of that. Also, this season has amazing interviews with Pat Farrelly and James Avery, and also a stupid fresh from the oven recipe where it just teaches you how to make a pizza, just a, basically just a random thing. I have no idea why they decided to put it on the DVD itself instead of putting it on sort of pamphlet in the DVD or on a website. Maybe they did put it on the website, I don't know. They released a five and six complete sets, but then season seven was released in four parts with a Leonardo, Mike Lindsay, Donatom, Raphael Slice, probably not respectively, where they each included a mini action figure while supplies last and also included featurettes and interviews, which would be just one not even ten minutes long featurette per part, except for like the last one, which is talking with a couple of fans. But I think they just could have put this all into like one whole entire feature ride and that would be more worthwhile instead of these ones that aren't even 10 minutes. They do fight some behind scenes information but uh, yeah, kind of informative but they're way too short for you to even get anything out of it. The reason that they had all of this part 4 action figure feature ride things is because of the 25th anniversary of Ninja Turtles so uh, yeah. Also I forgot to mention that on season 5 it includes a volume 6 trailer. I have no idea what. Uh, wait a minute, it was on season 7, where it has the volume 6 trailer, for some reason, which isn't even actually really a trailer for volume 6, because it shows uh, clips from all across all the seasons and stuff, so, uh, yeah. Also, this isn't actually just season 7, it also includes a European vacation side season, collecting on the first two discs, so uh, yeah, it was actually produced in season 4, or it takes place in between the first two episodes of season 4, wasn't aired in total, the USA Network, I think, aired it in like the 90s. A lot of times season 7 was being aired, and for no reason it has been lumped into season 7 of the DVD for no reason. Also, some season 7 episodes apparently aired in between some episodes of the European side season, and luckily those episodes separated from season 7, but there's no actual mention or distinction or actual identification or really anything. Season 8 was released, then a couple of years later, season 9 and 10 were released, and season 10 includes some artist interviews, also the two lost episodes, which is Planet of the Turtle Lloyds and Once Upon a Time Mission. So now that that's out of the way, let's talk about the actual discs. Uh, so uh, with season 1 and 2, they don't have any actual animated menus. I assume because on season 2 they decided for some reason to lump 13 episodes onto one disc, they didn't have any space to make an actual good menu, and season 1 there's been still menus, but all of the other ones have animated main menus. They use the theme song over and over, and on season 8 they use the classic theme song for some reason, even though the theme song was changed that season. But the last two seasons have the actual regular theme song that was used then. And they, most of the time they use the same soft pictures over and over for all the disc art and all the DVD menus and things. The visual and audio quality is basically just decent as most TV shows around the time where you just stored it on really crappy quality video files and things. But the video and audio quality looks decent. Sometimes the quality looks extra shitty and sometimes in season 4 the in season four and 5 the audio is muffled just for some reason. I have no idea why it's like that but the quality never really got excessively horrible. So yeah, basically it for the DVDs and 
overall the quality kind of just really bounces up and down haven't really watched anything past like the cover episode i've seen from season five so if i do end up watching more of the series then maybe i'll make a part two additional notes talking about those uh but for now season three is kind of a downfall season four is shitty and the episodes from season five that i've seen aren't nearly as bad as season four especially since the animation is less shitty so hopefully it picks up and uh yeah, basically the end of talking about the actual series. Also, I forgot to mention that season 5 has special features, including a reunion feature with the four main characters. Well, not really a reunion because they're all interviewed separately and they just want to be cut it together for some reason. He has a Townsend Coleman interview, which is separate from the ones he's featured in in the Turtles feature. And then Under the Show with Baxter Stockman which you think is going to be a feature like the others, but then just has random clips from the amazingly titled Landlord of the Flies for literally no reason. It just shouldn't think it's an extra, but really it's a shit clip shit show. So, uh, just want to make a little end scene to give my opinion on some of the incarnations and things with the TMT franchise. I want to discuss my opinion on the 1970s. series. I think that it's good. Maybe because I grew up with it. It's like the people with the 80s when I watched the same DVD over and over. And I think that the incredible stupidity and awfulness. I think the stupidity and awfulness of some of the episodes and jokes and things really, really led me down the path of enjoying incredibly stupid, idiotic, and unfunny jokes. But it's so unfunny that it circles back to being funny. And that's the circle of comedy as tested by Google or something. In between the movies came the, you know, in between the series came the movies. First one is great, the second one is great ironically, the third one is also great ironically. Then there's Ninja Turtles Reputation, which is also incredibly amazing. And I'm pretty sure I also find it amazing because I also watched it like a billion times on Kabillion. But I don't think that if I didn't watch 97 series, I probably still would have enjoyed it. I got a sort of ironic humor, I guess, out of it. After that, I came to the 2003 series, which I haven't seen much out of it from what I've seen in it. It's got very highly acclaimed. Also, Peter Laird said that Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of Views was the worst, worst one out of all the movies. And also, they didn't like the 97 series because it was too silly and comical. Then it worked for the series to make everything all serious. But considering how incredibly stupid and ridiculous of a concept Ninja Turtles is, you can't expect it to be goofy. In between that was 2007 TG movie, which is good. The 2012 series, it was good. And then there was Rise, which is the only one out of these series not to get a complete series release. So, yeah. Which first came out, everybody hated it. And was for stupid and idiotic reasons that don't make sense. People were saying that their designs were stupid and the characters were stupid and they had no personality. It was too comedic and goofy, but not only the next year, Seven Turtles, which is way more goofy, but it's more great because it's nostalgic and things. Also, it's over the top humor and animation, and our star was horrible and bad, even though it's not. So, everybody says that it's completed again. Anyway, uh, yeah, I do love Rise, and the movie is great. And when the movie came out, people were calling it crazy and they realized, hey, wait a minute, I was a fucking complete idiot the whole time for no reason. It was TMT was actually good, which is the same thing that happened with Ninja Turtles 2012, except for that the series was still airing and people found out it was good. Also, like with Be Cool Scooby Doo, because that horrendous Velma show that came out, people said, hey, wait a minute, Be Cool Scooby was good the whole time, but I knew it was good the whole time, boy. Anyway, that's the end. So, do you remember what I just said when I recorded the video I was going to binge the whole series and that there was a playlist every episode where it turned out that Pamela decided to be assholes and blocked the whole fan thing because they recently bought the series, so, uh, whoops. Some episodes are still available, but not all of them. It's just like a huge chunk, so, yeah, thanks for that.